hello students we will see the next topic z transforms introduction z transforms operate on the sequence of functions of single variable defined for non negative integral values of the variable so here i can say that this transform has number of properties similar to that of laplace transforms so here the difference equations is going to be applied the difference equation based on concept of finite difference whose general and complete solution can be obtained in a manner analogs to the method of solving linear differential equations with constant coefficients so difference equation arises in situation with the data consisting of only a set of values of unknown functions just as a laplace transforms and fourier transforms serve as a tool to solve some types of ordinary and partial differential equations z transforms serves as a tool to solve difference equation so here i can say that so this is one of the important transform to solve a uh, ordinary and partial differential equations just like what uh, we had in our previous knowledge that is laplace transforms of the function or fourier transforms of the function so here how we had the standard results of laplace transform for the particular functions similar standard formulas for z transforms also so what is the definition of this z transform and the problem uh, based on using the standard uh, functions of this z transform we'll see now definition of z transform we'll see the what is that definition if u n is equal to f of n defined for all n is equal to 0 1 2 3 so on and u n is equal to 0 for n strictly less than 0 that is negative values then the z transform then the z transform of u n denoted by is denoted by z of u n is defined by z of u n is equal to summation n from 0 to infinity u n into z raise to minus n so this is a definition of our z transform it is 
also the right hand side is also going to be written as this above situation is also is going to be written as what here or I can say that z of u n is equal this entire thing is also is written as u dash of z also means if u dash of z comes you can consider what here summation and from 0 to infinity u n z raised to minus n so similarly so this is a nothing but I can say that uh, definition of z transform so reverse part is also possible so reverse part of this situation is going to called as what here inverse z transform so I can this I will give as equation number two so further further 2 can be written as 2 can be written as not here if you shift this z to the right hand side this z if you shift to the right hand side it will become 1 upon z 1 upon z can be written as z raised to minus 1 so right z raised to minus 1 of u dash of z is equal to u n so this is nothing but what here inverse z transform we can this is called this is called inverse z transform so remember what is z transform and inverse z transform so remember so sometimes here notations also going to be used uh, according to the different authors so I will take in the form of note so the notation the notation the notation z of u n or sometimes this they are going to write z t of means z t like that also z of t of u n is denoted as what here u of z also means here uh, z t of uh, u n uh, i will take here down uh, z t uh, means the notation uh, z of u n or z t of u n and z inverse of so I have taken here uh, what here z of u n z of u n can be written as well z t of u n and this here you can observe uh, z inverse of u dash of z is there so at that time we can uh, this we can use this one as out here z inverse of z t of u dash of z also means anyone so in the uh, uh, main definition I have taken only z so here just I am showing what here notation instead of using z of u n they may use z t of u n and instead of z inverse of u dash of uh, z so they may use what here z inverse of t of u dash of z also and and so I have taken here uh, u dash of z small u dash of z small u dash of z small u dash of z can also be used as what here capital u of z also so capital u of z is something but small u dash of z these are the small uh, notations uh, they may use uh, to while framing the portions here so in this way uh, z transform is defined with their respective notations so we need to remember the no main notation as well as uh, alternative notations uh, while studying this z transform now we'll see the a few uh, basic concept of z transform that is z transform of some standard functions and some special properties for to solve the z transforms